Welcome to Arts and Props with GL. In this video, I'll show you how you can create this embossing technique using hot glue. We are using a mercury glass ornament. To see how we did the mercury glass ornaments, you can click on the upper right hand corner now, or you can wait till the end to click on the card. You can use a metal ornament that you buy at a store for this project too. To create the pine needle technique, all you do is come off like this with a line, you know, like that, and then you're just going to create like an upside down V. And then I'm just gonna leave the point here at the end a little bit. You can make it wider. And then I'm just gonna add a couple little dots in the center like this for the berries. We're just gonna start by taking off the cap and then I'll just demonstrate one of the pine needles with the glue so that you have a chance to see that and talk a little bit more about the techniques. You can see a little bit in some of our clips that we did with our short. However, I did want to go through the technique just a little bit more. It's easier to use a precision point when using color glue. You want a different glue gun for each color that you use. I'm going to wipe off the end so I have a nice tip there. Now all we're going to do is draw a line down from the neck area of the ornament. Pull back and down and you just want to keep pulling until you get those spider webs off and look at how clean that is there's no webbing whatsoever there and then I'll start another one over here pull down the biggest thing is keeping those spider webs off the ornament as much as possible there will be a few it's easier to clean it off now instead of waiting until the end. I might come back in and I'm gonna finish this one a little bit more and come down here. So you can also build up the glue as well. Okay, now that I have that, to create my dots, what I'm gonna do is press onto the ornament like this, and then I'm gonna pull off. I can either cut that or I can just kind of tap it. And that's the technique. So we'll let this dry just a little bit more and get a little cloudy like it is over here. And now we're going on to the fun part, which is how you create this metallic look. I'm using a black chalk paint. It doesn't matter. Any black paint would work. And we're just gonna tarnish the edges a little bit to give it that antique look. And I'm just gonna use a little bit of water right here and the edge of the cap, because I don't need that much. And I'm just gonna kind of wipe it in there a little bit. And I have a paper towel here that I can wipe it off a little bit as I go along. So I'm just gonna wipe it in there. I'm kind of getting it right down there on the ornament itself. and then you just wipe it off as you go along. This will help make it pop out more. You can use water on your brush. It kind of runs off any area that you don't particularly like. To really get that nice metallic finish, what I'm gonna use are Mod Podge alcohol ink bases, and I'm using a gold and silver. I'm gonna start off with the silver. Then I'm just gonna pour a little bit in this cup, and you just want a little bit at a time because it dries very quickly. Then with the silver, we're just going over the top. And I'm keeping it on top of the glue. This is already starting to look embossed right here. And if you want, you can keep it just like this. Now see how this one moves around? That's because I got too much water underneath it. So I would just go back in and glue that again if I feel like I need it. That's why we don't wanna to use too much water on this. Which brings up another point, and that is this process is very forgiving. If you don't like it, all you have to do is use a hair dryer to heat it up and you can take that portion off 
or you can use hot water and get it underneath there and it will pop up easily. So in other words, you don't wanna wash these ornaments. Just wipe them off with a damp cloth. Okay, wiping off the brush and then I'm going on to the gold. Now the reason why I like to use the gold is it just helps make it stand out a little bit more. And I'm just gonna use a little bit of the gold to go over the pine needles and I'm also using this on the little berries too. If I don't like some of that color on there, I can go back in with the black again, or I can just use a little water, being careful not to go into it too much, and I can kind of wipe off any mistakes that I have there that I may not want. Just make sure not to leave too much water on there. Same over here. If I don't like all that extra black there, I can just kind of go in and wash that off. And then for the last step, just to add a little pop of color, I'm gonna use a red alcohol ink. I'm just going back over those dots there. For that little extra pop of color. Here's the finished embossing technique, metal on metal. We hope you enjoyed this video. I got a little company right now. Um, and if you enjoyed this video, we'd love to see you next time. Please subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.